Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Stock Talk. My name is Julie and today I want to talk to you guys about five ETFs that I think have major growth potential for 2022 and even beyond. Now these are in no particular order. So the first ETF that I want to bring to you guys is um, Roundhill Sports Betting and iGaming. So the ticker symbol for this is BETZ and this stock was founded in June of 2020 so it's only about a year and a half old. Um, so we don't have too much history going back, but let me pull up and make sure that we have the latest information. So this stock has traded between $14.22 and $33.26. So you see when it first opened, it made a low of $14.22 and a high of $33.26. And currently it's sitting around $25 and it's looking like it's about to um, reverse into the uptrend again because it has broken the uptrend of right over here at the $29 mark. Um, but if this maybe stays between 22 25 and it kind of consolidates, then this might be a great opportunity for us to start a entry position in here. Now, some of the major um, holdings that they have is Rush Interactive, I'm sorry, Rush Street Interactive, DraftKings, Golden Nugget, and Pan National Gaming. So those are some of the top holdings. And again, these are ETFs that you want to hold for a year, two to five years. This is not something that you swing trade over a month or day trade. So these are long-term ETF ideas that I'm giving you today. The next ETF that I have for you guys is an infrastructure development ETF called PAVE. So that's P-A-V-E. Now this ETF has been around since March of 2017, so a little bit longer. And let me go on the three-year chart so we can see where this maybe has been moving from. So we opened up around $13 and then it did make a high to about $18. And then with a crash of 2020, it came as low as $9.77. But as you can see, it's been gradually coming up. So in my personal opinion, I would probably wait for it to drop to either $26 or $21. Well, actually, you know what? I don't use a three-year chart when I try to find an entry. I go with a one-year chart. So going on the one-year chart with my 200-day moving average, the price point would be $26. On the 100-day moving average, we're looking roughly around $27. So even though it's only a couple of dollars away from that, I, also, I always want to get the stock at a bargain price. So again, me personally, I would wait for it to come down to the moving average before I start a position. So that's how I personally would do that. Some of their top holdings are Nucor Corp, Train Technologies, Eaton Corp. You have Kansas City Southern in there and Deary Company. So this is what this ETF holds. Now my next ETF is Defines Digital Revolution. And that's actually a crypto ETF that was just founded in December of this past year. Um, the ticker symbol is NFTZ. And obviously we have only a month worth of data in here. So let me go um, on the 180 day, the four hour chart. So when it IPO'd, it went as high as $30 and now it's trading around $18.55, which again, this is at this, this is baby infant stages. So this is a great way for you guys to get exposure if you're looking into getting into the crypto world, but don't necessarily wanna buy Bitcoin or Ethereum. Um, this holds Mara, um, Coinbase, and several different other crypto-related stocks. So I think this is definitely a great way for you guys to get exposure. Now, the fourth ETF that I have for you guys is an online retailer. It's called ONLN. It's the ProShares Online Retail. So let me put this in here. Now, this one was founded in July of 2018, so this is going on three and a half years now. And let me pull up the three-year chart. So you can see when it first opened, um, it was steadily going up, Not nothing crazy. You're just coming back down to the moving average, making new highs, um, not making really new lows, which is good because we don't want to see that. And then, unfortunately, with the March crash, it went down to $28, coming from $41. Um, however, 
ever since it's been recovering, you can see the new high was $93. So imagine if you would have bought here at 28. Oh my God, what a great upside. But I think you haven't missed the boat yet. It's sitting right now at $57. So if you wanted to wait and see if it con consolidates before you purchase, that might be a good idea because at, at this cross point, we don't really know if it's going to go lower or higher. And let me move to my one year chart. Yeah, so in, on the one year chart, it looks like it's maybe consolidating in this area. So it had a low of 54 and 57. So it's been trading between that range. Um, so what I would see is, you, the, this is my nine day moving average. So you wanna make sure that it at least stays above the nine day moving average before you enter into a position. Um, again, but these are long-term stocks. They're not swing trades. They're not day trades. They're long-term positions. So you could always start with a smaller position and then if, if it takes a dip, then you just add on to your position and um, you start out small. Then my last ETF that I have for you guys is Metaverse, Roundhill Ball Metaverse, and the ticker symbol for that is META. And if you're familiar with the Metaverse, you know that um, you have NVIDIA, Facebook, Roblox, and Microsoft. Those are some of their biggest holders in there. And this ETF was founded in June of 21. So this is also at their infant stages, only six months old. And this stock has ranged between $13.75 and $17. So you can see the low right here, $13.75 and the high is $17. Right now it's sitting at $15. Um, I think this is a good entry. You could wait to see if it comes back down to maybe the $14, $13 range. But me personally, it's such a low risk. I think I would enter here and then just maybe set a stop loss. So if you think if it goes below $13.75, maybe do a stop loss at $13.50 um, just in case it drops and then you could re-enter the position if you find a better price point. But I think you have um, a much better um, reward than risk on this stock being that it's you know fairly price low considering it's holding NVIDIA, Facebook and Roblox. Again as always this is not financial advice you guys however I want I hope I gave you some great ideas um, please be sure that you research your own on any of the ETFs and stocks that I mentioned today before you purchase any of them if you guys got anything out of the video please be sure to hit that like button consider subscribing to my channel so that I can continue bringing you guys some great stock ideas um, for you to start investing in and I look forward to seeing you guys back in my next video.